Can the Acapulco Gold from Earthquaker Devices do drop F? Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray. I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and I'm always on the hunt for new distortion pedals, new gain structures, new things to make my baritone jazz master sound absolutely wild. And I think I might have stumbled across something today. So for those of you who caught my Sam Ash vlog, you know that this is not a sponsored video. I bought this myself and I bought it because I'm always on the hunt for this particular type of sound in my head where it's like tight yet disgusting all at the same time, and it's very hard to find a balance um, between the two. Either something's really tight and dry, or something's a full-on fuzz. And in, in my experience, I really have yet to find the sound that I'm looking for, and so I bought this to see maybe if it does what I'm looking for, if that makes any sense. So enough talking about this pedal, let's get right into it. So first, I create a quick little demo song using my Squire Vintage Modified Baritone Jazz Master in Drop F, hence the name of this video, the title, right? Can it do Drop F? Duh. And then this pedal is going into my Kraken on the Crunch channel, okay? After the demo, we'll come back and then we'll do a quick little playthrough and then we'll wrap up today's findings, okay, ladies and gentlemen? So, with that being said, let's get into everything that I have to show you right now. So, it sounds actually kind of decent in the mix, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta be honest, I kind of cheated a little bit. Yes, I used this pedal in conjunction with a Fortin 33 to give it the tightness factor. Now, to show you what I did, I'm gonna reset up and I'm gonna do a casual, quick little playthrough, let you guys hear what this thing sounds like by itself, and then let you guys hear what it sounds like with a Fortin 33, okay? So, let's get into that right now. <laughs>
gentlemen, what do we think of this pedal? Well, can it do drop F? For what I like to do specifically, no. It's pretty far off the uh, the mark. Now, the, the idea and the mindset and the, the kind of just overall theme with this pedal is it was designed to be used in conjunction with your volume knob on your guitar. And that is something that I personally don't really do all that often. So it's kind of a positive and a negative for me. It's a positive because it allows me to play, you know, a little bit differently, use my volume knob as a sort of dynamic control. But it's a negative because when I'm playing live, um, for those of you who see me live and seen videos of me play live, I, I, I'm very um, <laughs> animated to say the least. And I really can't be bothered with or can't be worrying about like where what notch my volume knob is at, you know, I need it to be on at all times, you know, wide open at all times, just because like, you know, I got enough things to worry about and I'm trying to perform. So, um, will I use this live? I don't know, man, maybe once or maybe like for one song in the set, you know, more slower song, a doomier song, but can it do the top type of sound that I'm looking for, the drop F that I'm looking for? In my opinion, without some serious help, no. And with a Fortin 33, for example, Yes, it kind of can, but I don't know if I feel confident enough to use this pedal in a live situation. So I've had this pedal for about a week now, and I'm going to keep messing with it, keep trying things out. But for right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's okay. Uh, I don't think I'd really be using it all too often for, you know, my drop F stuff. Maybe if I have like some sort of doom band in, in, any, in a more higher tuned type of setting, maybe I'll be using this pedal more. It's a great sound. It's a great pedal, but it's just a little too loose in the bottom end for me, um, especially in the lower register. And I think we can all kind of agree with those findings based on, you know, what I showed you in this video. So ladies and gentlemen, a little disappointed, but not necessarily totally bummed out. I'll keep it for now. And maybe one day I'll find an application for this thing. And maybe one day I'll find some sort of combination with a rig, you know, like an amp, a pedal, a guitar, etc. that'll make this thing shine beautifully. But for right now, after having it a week, kind of disappointed. So everybody, that's going to do it for this video. What do you guys think of this pedal? Do you own one? Have you tried one? What do you guys think of it? Leave all your thoughts down below. If you're brand new to my channel, you want to consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. I'm out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay metal. See you guys next time. Later.